Good morning. Hey Jeff. <clears throat> hey Jeff, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, doing pretty good. Can you see me? Right? Okay, yeah, you can see me. How was the rest of your weekend? It's nice, the weather is spectacular. I know, I love fall so much. <sighs> what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Do you know? No, probably nothing. <laughs> Holidays are going to be weird this year. Yeah. Have you seen Mark at all? Uh, not in a couple of weeks, probably three weeks. Okay. How's the back with all the things that you're doing? It's fine. Believe it or not. Good. That's good. Hi, Keithy. Morning. I have no idea where my bands are, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Um, do you remember where you put them last? I don't know. I'm going to look. For, I'll be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around for a second. Okay. How do I put this? Oh. Hmm? find them <laughs> yeah were they in the fireplace there's a basket of like yes short answer yes but there's a basket of stuff it's not a functional fireplace oh i see it's in there i wish it was but it's not hi katie All right, so this is how this workout is going to work. I know I asked you guys to bring a lot of stuff. So um, if you haven't ordered one of these, you should get one. They're like, they can range anywhere between 10 to $14 on um, Amazon. Okay, so even if like you're like, I'm done, with Alexa, I don't want to train with her anymore. This and this, you'll take, you could take anywhere and you'll stay oh, yeah, with the rest of the time. Do you see Penny in the garage or is it in your room or? So I would say get one of these. If you don't have one of those for today, that's totally fine. Just get a pillow that'll serve a good purpose and or a small band. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to use both. Um, but like I said, let's just say that you guys are sick of me getting those two things. You'll never have to go to another gym or use another trainer in your life. Okay. So we're going to start with the warm up. Um, I'm going to start being a little bit more strict as the holidays start coming up in regards to um, attention to detail and also attention to uh, your own workout. So if you're carving out an hour from six to seven to work out with me and I can see what all you guys are doing, please do not look at your Apple watches. Please don't text while you're working out because it's like you kind of are trying to do too much at one time. I want you guys to give the time to yourself and your body and then all that stuff can come back, okay? So focus on this because you're gonna need it for today. So okay. starting with that, we're gonna start with a warm up. So let's go ahead and grab your foam rollers. Um, in this foam roller, we're gonna start from, if guys, if you've ever wanna, worn a heart rate monitor, I want you to start from the heart rate monitor up, ladies, sports bra line and up. Please don't go below the sports bra line. So you're going to put your hands in your head, you're gonna lift your hips up, and you're gonna roll from sports line up to your mid-neck. Okay, nice and gentle. Making sure those hips stay up so that we're really putting pressure on that thoracic spine to open up, letting the elbows fall to the ground and not crowd our ears. So just open up those elbows and relax the neck and your hands. 
making sure that we're not holding our breath as we hit a tight spot. We're just releasing our breath and coming back. All right, so from here, you're gonna drop those hips down. You're gonna take that foam roller, put it right on your neck. Your hands are gonna go into a football post position. Your knees are gonna be up. Okay, I want you to shake your head no, so you're kind of getting the nape of your neck and also the, uh, the, light, the beginnings of your trap. So just shake your head no, really focusing on opening your neck joint, close your eyes, breathe. Exhale towards the right, inhale towards the left. And from here, take the foam roller out from under your knees, your neck, lift your hips, place the foam roller right on your tailbone, okay? So what we're gonna hit is the sacral joint area. So put it right underneath your tailbone. You're gonna grab that left leg and extend the right leg. So we're really using that elevation to open up the hip joint and both feet will be flexed. Also opening up the lower back with the knee pulling into your left shoulder. Still focusing on deep breathing. Remember, nothing's cluttering your mind right now. Okay, if you're cluttering your mind, you're not gonna get the full workout and the full stretch. So focus on what you're doing, stay the course. And switch. So extending that left leg, pulling up through those left toes, pulling that right knee to that right shoulder and lift the right toes, relax the shoulders down. Okay, this might look kind of weird, but I promise it'll feel good. So lift your uh, feet up. So you're kind of like balancing on your tailbone on the foam roller. Hands are gonna go out into a T position. You're gonna make the tiniest pea-sized circles with your hips. So you're massaging that whole sacral joint. So let's just go one direction. Make sure your backs of your calves are not touching your hamstrings, okay? So lift those calves off your hamstrings, making a good 90 degree level, flexing the toes back. Okay, switch directions with circles. As you pull the knees into the face, you exhale to get a little core work. Inhale as the knees pull away from the face. Okay, so lift the hips, take the uh, Foam roller out, roll to your left side, and then up on all fours, okay? So we're gonna take that foam roller, we're gonna place it uh, right on your hip flexor, so the right hip flexor. If, it's, um, if you want less pressure, you're gonna stay high like this. If you want more pressure, you're gonna come down on your elbows. So you're gonna start on your hip flexor, and then you're gonna roll yourself down towards your kneecap, but don't go on the actual bone, and then back up right into your hip flexor. So exhale down towards that kneecap and inhale right into that hip flexor. Good job. So now what we're gonna do, so we're gonna stay on the same leg, but I'm gonna have you tilt onto your left hip and I'm going to have you guys get your inner thigh. So see how I'm on my left hip? And now my inner, my, uh, inner kneecap is on the foam roller and I'm gonna roll up and into my groin and back, okay? So you gotta kinda angle the foam roller correctly so that you can get all the way up into the groin. Okay, this is usually people's tightest muscle. So if you feel pain and it doesn't feel good, that's probably normal. Right? So a lot of people don't pay attention to this muscle. Make sure your chin is off your chest so you're not putting extra strain on that spine. Your chin is off the chest. Breathe through the tight spots. Don't hold your breath. Okay, 
All right, good. Last thing on your right leg, all right? We're gonna get the IT band. So now it's the outer side. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you here. So I'm starting down by my kneecap. My left leg is always gonna prop my body up here. So my left leg is in front, okay? Again, if you want less pressure, you can stay high like I am. If you want more pressure, you can get down into your elbows and add some more weight onto your IT band, okay? We never wanna roll the IT band for more than five strokes. So once you've hit five, you're done, okay? Otherwise it inflames the IT band. So it's one up, one down, okay? All the way to five. And when you're done, we go straight to the other side. So once you've done five, now we're gonna go into that left side. So same thing, we're gonna start right up at that left hip flexor. If you want less pressure, stay straight arm, more pressure, bend into the elbows. You're gonna go right down into the knee and then all the way up through the quad. So now we're doing our left side. Get right up into that hip flexor, don't miss that part. Okay, so now you're gonna tilt into that right hip and you're gonna get into that inner thigh. So you're going to roll from your kneecap into your inner groin and then back. If you really wanna feel it more, you can actually kind of lay on your stomach and roll side to side, that really gets you. Okay, last but not least, remember, even if you're rolling out on your own, never more than five up downs on your IT band, okay? We don't wanna inflame this. So right leg props up in front, down on your elbow or up on your palm, whatever feels best, one up, two down, okay? After five, we're gonna move on. All right, so last thing that we're gonna do with the rolling up before we go into our um, activation series is you're gonna stand up, you're gonna have your foam roller on your foot, okay? Oh, maybe I should do it from the side. So hands on hips, okay? Try not to uh, look, look down, okay? Look right in front of you. If the screen's in front of you, you're, you're looking at me. You're gonna get your arch of your foot right on that foam roller, hands on the hips to get your balance, okay? You're just gonna roll your foot five times and then you're gonna sit here and see how my foot is stretching for one, two, three, four, five, then roll for five. Do that two times. So roll for five, hold the stretch for five. Making sure you're tucking in that core, squeezing through the glutes, waking up that core. Okay, so once you've done two rounds of five rolls, five stretches, then you're gonna go to the other leg. Okay, so five and five. For those of you with feet problems or calf problems, you have to do this every single day, okay? Especially now that it's getting colder outside, your muscles are gonna tighten. So wherever your, uh, wherever your pain points are, whether they're in your hips, back, feet, you need to warm up five minutes longer in that, uh, tender spot, wherever that is on your body. Okay, so keep your foam roller by your side just in case, um, I'm an, I might have you guys use it later. So keep it in arm's reach. So now we're gonna start with the um, regular warm up now. So we're just gonna do some tension release stuff and then we're gonna hit it. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, cross-armed child's pose. So you're gonna get in the child's pose position with your legs. So knees nice and wide, toes are hitting in the back. You're gonna cross your arms like this, okay? And we're gonna come down on our arms and we're just gonna drive our head into our forearms and push our butt way back, okay? So why we're crossing our arms? Because it opens up your thoracic spine more than your hands would be 
in front. So just hang here. Push your armpits down into the ground. So we're really kind of flattening that low back towards the ground or the high back towards the ground. From here, reach your hands out. So now we're getting the low back as we reach our hands out. So we're continuing to press our armpits into the ground. Our head is neutral, but it's kind of starting to stick up in the air because we're reaching those armpits down. Okay, from here, you're gonna walk yourself up. Get those knees to be shoulder width apart, including your toes. So bring those knees in and then flip the toes to be shoulder width apart so they're not touching anymore. Now, watch me do this first because it's gonna be kind of hard to echo my voice when my head goes into this position. So you're gonna gently rest. You don't have to touch your head to the ground. You're just gonna gently drop your neck and throw your arms up behind you. If you do not have any neck problems, you can set your head on the ground to get a little bit more pec opening. If you have neck problems, do not put your head on the ground, okay? So you'll, if you have neck issues, you're just gonna hang here. If you do not, you can try the stretch of putting your head on the ground. So go ahead and hold that position, opening up the chest. Okay, from here, we're gonna sit down and cross-legged. So we're gonna, Put our legs here. We're gonna straighten up through the back. We're gonna place our right hand up so like you're serving a pizza. So flip your right hand up like you're serving a pizza. You're gonna drive that elbow down and you're gonna reach up through the rib cage and turn towards your left armpit and look up at the ceiling. So really reach that middle finger. So no, nobody's hand should be like this. It should be away from your face and reaching. Good. Hold for five, four, three, Two, one, use your exhale to come up from that position. Flip your left hand open like you're serving a pizza and reach through that middle finger. Five, four, three, two, and one. From here, drive that right foot out. Drive that left foot back. Both legs should be uh, in 90 degrees, flexing the toes. Straighten up through the uh, spine and pull those shoulder blades back since we just opened them. We're going to lean to the front for five and lean towards your knee for five. Okay, so we haven't really done the knee, like leaning towards the knee, so just so you know what that looks like, it's here. Okay, so just coming at a diagonal. So five straight, five diagonal, and three, two, one. I'm racing up straight. Here we go. One, and up. Two, press into that knee. Up, three, up, four, up. Shrug your shoulders back. A lot of people are doing this. Shrug them back. And five, come to that diagonal. Put your hands on the ground. And one, back up. Two, back up. Three, back up. Four, last one, five. Okay, switch legs. Left leg out in front, flip that left, right, um, right leg in the back. Flexing both feet, five to the front, five diagonal. Everybody sit up straight, pull the shoulders back. And three, two, one. One, and up, two. And up, good posture. Three, and up, four, and up, and five. Diagonal, one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Last stretch, we're gonna open up the inner thighs and then we're gonna get going. So come out into like a middle splits position, okay? If this is as far as you can go, you leave it and you flex your feet and you just gently push forward. If you feel like you can go a little bit farther, you just push your hip forward, okay? Kind of like you're trying to do the middle splits, okay? And then you just reach forward from here. Notice how I'm not doing this, okay? So from the side, my back is perfectly straight, shoulders shrug down, I'm reaching and serving the pizza to someone in front of me, okay? So hold for five, four, three, flex the feet, two, one, bring it back, exhale, five, Four, lean to the front. Three, two, one, inhale, center. Two more, exhale, forward. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, relax. Last one, exhale, front for five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, the center. All right, here we go. Take a drink as you watch me do these first couple of exercises.
So what we're going to do, I'm going to run through the people who have this. I'm going to run through those first. Okay, if you do not have this, I promise I'll get to you, so just hang tight. Okay, so the people who have these, I'm going to go through three exercises only, and then we'll add on. So always roll to your side, then onto your back. Okay, you will take this Pilates ring, and you're going to put it in between your feet, and you're going to squeeze hard. Okay, you're going to squeeze it super hard the whole time. You're going to flex your feet, and you're going to draw circles. Okay, so you're using your low abs and your inner thighs to do all the work. Okay? For those of you who do not have this, okay, you have two choices. You can use a pillow, and it's a thick way, okay? So not the way that it would like smush. You would still have some room. So you're smushing the pillow, and you're drawing circles, but you have to squeeze the pillow the whole time for it to work. If you don't have a pillow, use your small band, put it around your ankles, pull the ankle bands apart, and use the band, okay, for this. So pick your poison. Band, ring, or pillow. That's exercise one. Okay, exercise two. We'll go straight from the supine circles. We'll take the ring, we'll set it right in between our kneecaps, okay? We're gonna take our long band. As we push the hips up, we're gonna squeeze the ring as tight as we can. And at the same time as I'm squeezing, I'm gonna pull this band apart and come back down. Exhaling as I squeeze super tight and pull this band apart. For those of you who don't have the ring, you can do the pillow, and you can also take this small band and rip the band apart as far as you can and come back down, okay? Third exercise here is gonna be a dead bug squeeze. So for those of you who don't have the ring, you can use the foam roller on this one. Ring people, you're gonna take your right forearm and your right thigh to hold the ring in place. You're gonna squeeze this so hard, okay? Your left arm's gonna come back and you're going to lift behind you and dip your left foot down and come back. And you're gonna squeeze this arm towards the knee. So you're gonna get a super charge through your shoulder joint and through your low abs. So you're really tightening through this. The other one's doing a normal dead bug, okay? So we'll work through that together. For those of you who don't have the ring, you can use your foam roller as that same squeezing mechanism. Okay, if you need me, and I confused you, unmute yourself and tell me to start over. If not, we're starting with the circle squeezes. So you can put the band around your ankles or you can squeeze this thing, all right? So go ahead and put it in between. You're gonna flex the feet, okay? Hands out like an iron cross. Tuck the pelvis, so squeeze the pelvis underneath you. People with bands, yank that band apart right now and hold it there the whole time. People with rings, you squeeze as tight as you can right now in three, two, one, go to the left. So exhale as you move away from your body. Inhale as you move back. I'm watching the time, so you just focus on your form. People with the bands, it's going to be hard for you to always pull tension on that. So every fifth one, I want you to pull the band apart so you don't have slack. Good. Squeeze that ring, you guys, and straighten your knees. Final 15. For five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. Exhale as you sweep across the body and back. Don't stop. Keep going. If you need to take a break, it's five seconds and then you're right back up. Let's go. You will feel this in your low abs and your inner thighs. If you're feeling it at all in your low back, it's because you're not tucking the pelvis. So tuck that pelvis so your back is anchored. No. Then straighten out through the knees, flexing the toes. We got 15. For five, four, three, two, and one. Those of you who have the ring, you're gonna slide it in between your knees, okay? For those of you who do not have the ring, 
Okay, grab your foam roller and put it in between your inner thighs or a pillow, okay? So squeeze what's in between your thighs, grab that long band. If you don't have the long band, use that short band to pull apart. Okay, here we go. We're gonna walk through the first 10 seconds together and then I'm gonna let you go. Okay, so here we go. Put the band above your face. We're going to exhale, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the block or the bring as tight as you can as you pull the band away and down from your face. And you're gonna inhale, roll down one slow vertebrae at a time and you release the band super slow. So it's exhale, pull and push. Tight, tight, tight. And as you release, it should take five seconds to come all the way back down. Exhale, up, pull and squeeze. Inhale, down for five. So that foam roller in the ring should feel like you're gonna break it with your inner thighs. You'll know if you're squeezing hard enough if you kind of shake a little bit at the top. Good job, everybody. So lift those hips up as you squeeze the pillow in the ring. You can use your foam roller to make it harder. For five, four, three, two, one. So do you have your foam roller? Just use it for this one, okay? So drop the band. Let's start with our left forearm and our left thigh. Okay, we're gonna simplify this exercise for this first round and then we'll make it harder. So everybody put it in between their left thigh and left forearm. So watch what I'm gonna do here. So I'm squeezing, that's the first thing I do. I squeeze as hard as I can. I'm gonna drop the heel as low as I can without losing the squeeze and then shift back. So it's this gentle motion here, that's all we're gonna do. And then we'll add on something more later. I want you to get this part down first. So here we go in three, two, one. First step, squeeze as tight as you can. Drop the heel as low as you can. Exhale back to center, okay? Low, squeeze, and back. So it's okay if you can't touch your heel to the ground. I'd rather you maintain the squeeze as tight as you can and just do a one inch forward drop and a one inch back. So get that other foot off the ground. So we're like in normal dead bug position. So both feet are off the ground, flexing the feet. Push as hard as you can, drop the foot as low as you can and inhale back. So squeeze, drop, inhale back. So it's kind of like you're gonna make a move and then you hesitate and then come back to starting. For five, four, three, two, one, other side. Okay, lift both legs up. Okay, squeeze between your right forearm. If you, if you need to use your right hand, that's okay. You don't have to use your forearm, you can use your hand. Right thigh squeeze, first thing, as hard as you can. Now you drop the heel and then shift back. Exhale, drop, inhale, shift back. Squeezing that ring tight, squeezing the foam roller tight. If you're not feeling it in your low abs, squeeze harder, you should feel it. Looking for your phone. Honey, what? you're looking for your phone. No. Nope. It was in a weird spot. Yeah. No, it was in our closet in your cubby. Push through the heel and back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So did you guys feel that at all? Be honest, put your thumbs up. 
Okay, good. Everybody up, kind of? All right, so if, if you didn't feel it, thumbs up or thumbs down, were you squeezing as hard as you can? So if you're not feeling it, it's probably because you just need to squeeze a little bit harder. Use your hand next time. So if you didn't feel it, use the force of your hand. So just from this angle, I wanna show you how much the, the ring should be bending. This is how much the ring should be bending because you're pushing so hard. It should never be like this, okay? So if you're not getting it to this position, you have to use your hand. And then I promise you, you'll feel it, all right? So we're gonna move on, but we'll come back to all those three, okay? So next up is we're gonna do some sumo squats with the ring or the foam roller, okay? So. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are facing away from the front of the computer. So they're facing towards the walls this way. So people who have the ring, again, look at the ring. And never should it be like this, it should be that tight, okay? So people with the ring, we're in sumo squat position. As I come down with my toes up, I'm squeezing as hard as I can, I'm dropping my butt down. Okay, and then I'm coming back up and I never release the ring until I'm here. For those of you who have the foam roller, do not hold it this way, it won't work. You gotta hold it long ways. If you have those really long ones, you're gonna have to hold it this way, okay? If you have a shorter one like I do, you squeeze super hard, you sink down, lifting those big toes up, and then you're right back up. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're gonna go into a pulse. So I'm gonna get closer here. So you can see what I'm doing with the ring. It's just pulsing and squeezing. So every time I come up, I release. But every time I come down, I add some pressure to the ring. Same thing with the foam roller. Then we're gonna ditch both the foam roller and the rings, and we're gonna go right into froggers, okay? If you don't wanna jump, it's up on your tippy toes and reaching up towards the air. Okay, here we go. Grab your foam roller or your ring. Okay, it's larger, longer squats here facing away, shoulders are pinned back, okay? So straight back, here we go. We're dropping down and we squeeze as hard as we can. Keep that ring towards your chest, okay? And back up, release the ring or the bear, foam roller. Exhale, squeeze tight, okay? Lift those big toes, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now release. Exhale, squeeze, dip down. Get as low as you can, everybody get low right now. Nice, hold that squeeze all the way up. Release. Exhale, squeeze. Get deep. Yep, nice. Hold that squeeze, come all the way up. Release. Exhale, push as hard as you can. Yep, good. Come down. And up. Now release. Exhale, tight. And back up. So when you guys come down, make sure that we're not doing this. We're never doing this. We're butt back, like you're sitting and your big toes lift up. Two more. Here we go, butt back, big toe up. Yep, good, now up. Release the ring. Last one, squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze, down, hold for five, four, three, two, hold the squeeze and up. Now we pulse in three, two, one. Get down, one inch up, one inch down. Every time you come down, you squeeze the ring. Every time you come up, you release. So pulse and pulse. Okay, you should be feeling it in your biceps and your inner thighs, lifting those big toes up. Squeeze that foam roller. So you guys keep going. I got to check everybody's form real quick. Nice. Okay, everybody looks good. Chin off your chest, relax the shoulders. So I want everyone here, whether you have the foam roller or the ring, I want it right here, okay? Keep going. For five, four, three, two, one, ditch it. Foam roller and ring gone. Here we go, stay in that same position, froggers. In three, two, one, down and up, down and up. It's explosive. For those of you who don't wanna jump, up on the tippy toes and right back down. Okay, up to you. So every time you jump up, you exhale. Every time you inhale, you're down. Squeeze. 
squeezing your glutes up at the top. Keep going. Okay, mentally check your mind right here. All right, we have 10 seconds. Stay with it. For five, four, three, two, and water. You have seven seconds to rest and reset. Then we're starting from the very top. So here we go. We're moving in three, two, one. Either grab the band and wrap it around your ankle or grab your Pilates ring. You are rolling to your side and then up. Your inner thighs are gonna be shaking because we just burned them out. So that's okay. So squeeze the ring as tight as you can or pull the band as far apart as you can. We're moving to the left in three, two, one. Scoop the back and squeeze. You don't let up on that squeeze until I say stop. So push through with the exhale, inhale back towards the body. So for those of you who are using the band, remember every fifth one, I need you to pull that band apart. For those of you using foam rollers, and the Pilates rings. You are acting like that is the only thing holding you on a cliff. If you let go of that tension, you're gonna fall. So squeeze it tight. Switch directions in three, two, one. Scoop the back, other way. Exhale away, inhale towards. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I want you guys to make big circles. These are big circles, so loop it up. There it is, good. Don't let your body make you lose control. You control the, the body with the brain. Okay, so stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one, bring the foam roller or the ring right in between your inner thighs, grab your long band. Okay, this is the pushing up and the pulling. So squeeze as you come up and pull. Ready, squeeze and pull, release all the way down. Squeeze and pull, release all the way down. Exhale, squeeze, inhale down. The butt and the low abs should be tight. So you're almost doing a pelvic floor contraction at the top. So sucking in the belly button and pulling up through the pelvic floor, and then you release at the bottom. Pull the band. Nice, everybody, good job. So on those hip bridges, I want you to come all the way up on your shoulder, so don't stop mid-back, get all the way up. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so here's what's next. If you did not feel this one last time, okay, remember, I want you to use your hand this time, okay? So it should look bent. If you still can't bend it, that's okay. Try the foam roller, okay? So try one or the other to make sure you should feel it burning your low abs. All right, so let's try this again. Roll to your side, then onto your back, okay? So either left forearm or left hand, up to you. Get both feet up. We're gonna squeeze hard. We're gonna drop it and back up. It should feel like you're pulling your whole body weight up through those low abs. So ready, begin. Exhale away, inhale towards the center. Squeeze and push as hard as you can. Feel it in your forearms, feel it in your shoulder, thighs, and low abs. So make sure it's the same arm and same leg, and you're push, push, pushing. Okay, 
So again, your, your heel does not have to touch the floor. I only want you guys to go one inch forward and one inch back is because you're pushing so hard. You shouldn't be able to touch your heel. Everybody squeeze five seconds harder. Squeeze and push for five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Okay, other leg. You're going to exhale down, inhale back. So you're not gripping it. So you're not holding it like this. You're pushing with a flat hand. Push and back. Using all your strength here. Using your heel using your biceps and your shoulders to add some pressure. If you're still not feeling it, try holding just center and pushing through your thigh and pushing through your hand. Sometimes just holding it is just as much as a workout as moving, okay? Push hard for five, four, three, two, and one. Back up to the top, roll to your side, step forward. Use your exhale to come back up, okay? Grab your foam roller or your ring. You're gonna take a little bit wider of a squat position. So sumo squat, toes facing out towards the wall, okay? Remember, this is, it's not out here ever, okay? That's gonna cause extra pressure in the low back. It's tight here. So tight towards your chest, squeeze as hard as you can. Everybody squeeze now, push, elbows high. Now is, now is when we start, here we go. We're down and up. I don't want anyone letting go this time. We're squeezing the whole time. Get those big toes up, act like you're sitting on the chair behind you. Squeeze that foam roller, squeeze the ring, you should be pushing. Feel a nice open stretch through the inner thigh, strengthening up through the back and shoulders. For five, four, three, two, and we pulse up and down. We're not letting go of the squeeze. Everyone should still be squeezing. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. Big toe up, shoulders down. Good, you got this. Try not to be leaning forward like this. Try to stay stacked. Nice. As low as you can, hold and pulse. For five, four, three, two, and ditch it. Froggers in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, up, down. Stay wide, even if you're taking the option of coming up on your tippy toes, the wider your feet, the better. Everybody, we're taking a three second pause. Everybody stop. Really quick, so for the jumpers, when you jump, you don't stop here and then go down. When you do that, stop and then come down, it's like, Boom, ricochet up your spine, okay? It should look like this. One, up. As soon as you're up, you're down, okay? For those of you who are doing calf raises, it's not this. Arms have to go boom, boom, boom. Even though you're not jumping, you're just as fast on the up down. Here we go, keep going, you got 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. As soon as you're up, you're down. Yes, much better, everybody stay there, perfect. It becomes a mental game from here. Everybody straighten out their spine, use your arms, be perfect. 
Come on, we got this. Hang with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, guys, that was much better. Good job, take a drink. Okay, here we go, we're moving on. Pay attention, because we're gonna go quick here so we can get the full rep in. I'm gonna go through all of them, and then we'll do it together, all right? So long band, short band people, I got you, okay? So just be, be patient, I'm gonna go through all these first, okay? Okay, we're gonna start here, up and overhead, and back down. If you cannot lift overhead, that's okay. Stop here, all right? If you have a green band, I would switch to that if you think that you can't push it up. That's first, okay? Then we're gonna go into a one-arm bicep curl. From the side, it looks like this. Notice how it's not this. It's elbow locked into the hip, pulling straight up and down. Squeezing the butt and the core as you come down and up. Okay, then we got a front squat. So you're gonna hold this position and you're gonna come up and down. Your elbows are high in front of you. Okay, then we gotta, I'm just gonna stop there, okay, because I don't wanna confuse you guys. Short, short band people, okay? You're gonna take this band, you're gonna pull the band as far apart as you can, squat to overhead, reach. You guys gotta go fast on this one because you have less band to carry than anyone else, okay? Instead of a one-arm bicep curl, I'm gonna have you guys do a squatted double bicep curl. Just add a little bit more pressure and you don't stop until we stop. Okay, front squat. I'm gonna have you guys hold it out here, come up and back down, pulling tension on the band. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, that otherwise, we're gonna get started. Short band people, I'll try to help remind you what you got. So, everybody, the long band, you're in it and your thumbs are up and under, like you're gonna throw up a bar. Okay, everybody else who has short bands, you're pulling through your wrists and straight up. Here we go in three, two, one, loop under, one. Here we go. It's okay to stop here. You don't have to lift overhead. Just hang right here if you, if you don't want to. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. Everybody who has a small band, you're gonna holding a squat and pulling band apart and doing double biceps. People who have long bands, pull those feet wide, left elbow stuck on your left hip, shoulders down and back, pull up, release down. So double band people get into a squat and do the, there you go. Switch arms, long band people, double band or single band people, skip lower in your squat. Hold that band apart. There we go. Okay, we're switching everybody. Front squat. So people who have the small band, okay, you're here, up, and down, pulling that band apart. People with the long band, you're here, feet shoulder width apart inside the band, and you're just doing a normal squat up in here. Here we go in three, two, and one. Down and exhale up. Everybody with the small band, keep your arms straight and pull the band apart. Big toes are up. Last two. Good, ditch the bands. You're laying on your left side first. Okay, come to the ground. So you're gonna lay on your left side. You're gonna take your top foot. Okay, this top foot is gonna swing. I have football fingers right in front of my belly button. I'm gonna flex my foot as I swing forward and swing to center. Notice how I don't swing back. It stops right in level with my hip. So forward, hip level, forward, hip level. Then we're gonna make circles, but out here in the front. Okay, you're gonna feel it in your butt cheeks and in your obliques. 
So let's lay on your left side. If this hurts your neck, you're more than welcome to just lay on your arm like this. Okay, up to you. Make sure your body is long and stacked. Flex both feet. Lift the leg up so it's even with your hip. Now, exhale, sweep the toes towards your nose. Inhale, heel comes back to center. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, center. Keep going. Try to keep your leg as straight as possible. Do not go past your hip, okay? So I don't want your heel swinging past your hip. Keep your knee nice and straight. Five, four, three, two. Sweep to the front and stay there. Draw circles. Keeping your feet flexed. Should be the smallest pea size circles of all time. Really isolating that glute meat, okay? Good, bring your toes back to your nose. Get that foot way out in front of you. Other direction, so now the other direction of the circle. Flexing the foot, straightening the leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Okay, so flipping on your other side, length down. Exhale, sweep forward, inhale back. Making sure that you have those football fingers in front of you so that you're not arching through the back and laying back. You gotta keep your torso stacked right on top of your shoulders. The slower and more controlled you go, the stronger your obliques, low back, and glutes will be. Exhale forward, inhale back. For five, four, three, two, one. Get it all the way out in front, then start drawing circles. Small, controlled. Get those football fingers supporting you so you're not sinking back into your hips. So if you feel like you're pretty good at this and you have good form, you can lift up your hand. Okay, if you're already feeling it, keep that hand down. Other direction. So make other uh, the opposite circle. Good. So I want everyone to push their leg just a little bit more in front of their hip. Good. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna start from the top. Now we're gonna hustle through these. Okay, so small band people, remember you're having the band in front of you and pulling the band apart as far as you can. Okay, and with the exception of this first one, you're squatting and lifting overhead. Okay, so small band people squat and lift. Long band people thread it through, feet shoulder width apart. Get up and under the band. Here we go in three, two. One, let's go up, down, up, down. We're looking for some cardio and strength combined here, so you gotta move. Squeezing the core and the glutes at the top. Exhale, squeeze through the core, inhale down. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Okay, small band people, bicep curl, everybody else, one handed in three, two, one, up, inhale down. Exhale, squeeze through your core and up. Inhale down. Get those big toes up for those of you who are squatting. Switch arms. Exhale up. Inhale down. Keep going, don't quit. Stay with it. Don't check out now, you guys. You have five minutes left. I need you to stay with me. Okay, here we go, front squat. People who have small bands, okay? You're up and down here, pulling the band apart. Everybody else, you have your band and you're going up and down fast in three, two, one. Exhale up, down, up, down. For those of you who have long bands or even short bands and you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can add a hop at, into it. If you don't want to, you stay with the squat. Good job, Carter, you look awesome. <laughs> for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, down on your side, kick it away. Left side, here we go. In three, two, one, sweep to the front. Inhale back, exhale, sweep. So you guys are going from fast to slow. So now you control your brain. It's kind of in life when things feel chaotic, you have to slow down, breathe. Nice, everybody looks good. Five, four, three, two. Swing it all the way as much as your flexibility will let you draw circles. Here we go, through the heel. Should feel this in your butt. If you're not feeling this in your butt, raise your hand and I gotta check in on your form. Other direction. So I want you to straighten that leg as much as possible. So for those of you, for this last 15 seconds, who want an additional challenge, here's what this will look like, okay? You'll be up on a side plank and drawing circles. If you want that challenge, take it now. Everybody, I'm gonna make you take it, get up. Nobody took it, so I'm gonna make everybody do it. Up on side plank here, lift, circle, out in front. Squeeze your butt. Hang with me, push those hips forward, chin off your chest. We do this together for five, four, three, two, one. Other side, this is the last thing I promise, lay down. Exhale, sweep to the front, inhale back. Exhale, sweep, inhale back. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive it out, circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Up on side plank, reverse circles. Here we go, push those hips forward. 15 more seconds, stay with it. Draw through the heel. 
Yes, you can. You got this. Chin off of your chest. Relax the face. Get those hips up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Take a drink of water. And we're going to do a quick two-minute stretch, and I'll get you guys on with your day on time. Okay, good job. COVID high five. So, <laughs> so roll onto your back. I want you guys to just do dead man's pose. So just relax. Closing your eyes, let everything fall. Relax. I still have two minutes with you guys, so don't think about anything else. Just relax for right now. I want you to bring your knees into your shoulders. So take your knees kind of wide. So you're kind of opening up those inner thighs, keeping your head on the ground, pulling your knees into the uh, far ends of your shoulders. Still making those big belly breaths. I want to see everybody's bellies move. Inhale, the stomach rises like a balloon. Exhale, it contracts down towards the spine. Bring that right ankle on top of that left knee and pull in. And switch. Roll onto your stomach. This is the last stretch. You can either do bent arms child's pose from the very beginning or straight arm, whatever one felt better for you. Okay, just want you to kind of recharge before you get onto your day. So just take five seconds. So you guys can go ahead and stay in child's pose as I talk to you guys real quick. I think everyone did a really good job today. Um, thanks for getting up early and hanging out with me. I do wanna say that as winter and holidays comes on, it's gonna be more tempting to hit the snooze button and not come, okay? But I'm gonna challenge you that during holidays, it's probably more important that you give yourself this hour break and I'll try to stay true to time as much as possible. Okay, come on up. I love you guys and I hope you have a good rest of your week. I promise I'm getting those videos out today so that you guys can have something to do when you're not with me. Other than that, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye, Lex. Thank you. Welcome. Bye, Carter. <laughs>